Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, today we are going to be doing my Shop My Stash Get Ready With Me for April 2020. In case you didn't know, I shop my stash for products at the start of every month and then towards the end of the month I like to come back on here to show you how all those products go and sort of give you my initial thoughts as well and just do a full face get ready with me, chatting also about other things than just the makeup. Um, and that's what I like to do before I... Uh, shop my stash again for the month of May. So today we're going to be talking about a lot of new products that I shop my stash for in the month of April and that I have been trying out. Some of these I've already reviewed up on my blog or I'm about to review them on my blog because that's sort of how I like to do things. So if you're looking for in-depth reviews with like swatches and all that, then maybe you need to check out my blog too. And I need to address two things. <laughs> the hair, I decided to wear it down again. I've been wearing my hair up ever since we had super windy weather in like February. And of course it's, it's due a cut. Um, but yeah, I just thought I could just deal with it and just make the most of it. So um, the hair is down because I just felt like wearing my hair down again for a change. And who's this person wearing nail polish? Me. I used to be an absolute nail polish fiend and I sort of stopped wearing nail polish around two years ago or so and I just hadn't really gotten into it but now that we're like self-isolating and I don't know Sunday nights has been nail polish time the past few weeks so I got myself a, a new shade to wear this time. Um, not that I went out and bought it. I have plenty of nail polish from way back when. Um, but this is an Essie polish called Viva Antigua, which I believe was a limited edition. It's a really nice sort of like tropical, greeny, aqua kind of shade. I love this. It has a bit of shimmer. So yeah, those are two things I had to address. I've got coffee. So cheers. Let's get some makeup onto this face. So something that was new this month was the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I started using this, I think I had only used it once before, and I've been using it all month. And this is how much I have left. And this is a travel size. This comes with 10 milliliters of product, which I think is, is that half of what the full size comes with? I think the full size size may be 30 mils, so that would be better. But given how, how quickly I go through the 10 mils, like usually a small primer that's like 15 mils will last me a good six weeks or so. Um, I only have a few more uses left in this. I think I will be gone, th like if I keep doing my makeup this week, before I shop my stash, I need to get onto another primer. I still have a mini, mini size uh, of this. That was why I bought the travel size because I already tried it when I was in the, in the US where I bought this. But it's a really lovely product. It's just really, really something you've, you go through super fast which I don't mind, it's a really lovely product, it's super hydrating on the skin, um, but I feel I need to use two pumps in order to cover all of my face. And for how expensive the full size is, I'm not sure, maybe I'll just stick to the minis, but yes, this is a lovely product, and I do think that I would wanna repurchase this, but I think I'll first go in with my Catrice primer next, uh, because I wanna use up that too. Like, I tend to use up primers before I choose another one but this is such a lovely feel on the face like it's super like it's like a drink of water for your face and i find that ever since i've been wearing this i tend to skimp well not skimp but i tend to wear less moisturizer in the morning so i've been cutting down on my skincare routine because of this product that that's sort of how it goes. And then eyeshadow primer is still the Essence You Better Work eye primer. I have to squeeze so hard to get any product out, but hey, we still have product coming out. Ooh, yeah. And then I just get an itty bitty little bit. So this is definitely on its last legs. Not sure when it will be gone, but this is almost gone. So that's the lids primed and all that, and I'm going to throw my hair backwards so that I don't get any foundation in it. And I've been using, towards the end of this month, I've been using the new Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. In the US, this is marketed as a new foundation. In Europe, this is marketed as the replacement for the Dream Satin Liquid, which they used to already do, but they've definitely extended the shade range. The Dream Satin didn't come in a shade that was right for me, 
The lightest one was 04 light porcelain, which was not porcelain, it was super orange on me. So that's why I ended up decluttering that, but I did always really like that foundation. So uh, I'm not sure how different this is from the old formula because I literally decluttered that like five years ago. It was one of the first foundations I ever tried. Um, but this one is in the shade 03 True Ivory. And I think it's a quite a good match. I wish it was perhaps a little bit more cool toned. I find it a bit yellow. That I do have to say, but the next shade down, which looked more pink toned, also seemed to be very light. And with the Dream Urban Cover, which is the last Maybelline foundation I tried, I went with a lighter shade that looked really nice in the tube, but then on my face turned a lot lighter than what it actually what I had expected. Uh, so that shade match wasn't great. So I felt that if the shade match is better than the undertone in this case may be something I can get away with if I also apply bronzer and all the other stuff that I usually do. So like one, one and a half pump is enough to cover my entire face. This has a very pleasant smell. I've been really enjoying this. It's like a light to medium coverage. It's like buildable, I find. And I've been really liking this. Um, it's just not something that super wowed me. It's just a good foundation from the drugstore, if that, if that makes sense. Um, but more Maybelline, because I also started using the Maybelline Superstay cover full coverage under eye concealer. I have mine in the shade 10 Fair. And this has been nice, it's just that for a product that I haven't used very long, I'm not sure if you can see that, but when I just stick it in the tube, no product comes, like, is on it again. So it's almost as if there isn't that much product in here or it's like very coagulated, so I kind of like have to squeeze it and then twist it to get product on the wand and then there's still not a lot on it. So I'm not sure what's going on inside this tube. <laughs> Um, but the, again, the concealer itself, it's nice. Uh, it definitely gets the job done. If something says full coverage concealer, I always get worried that it will just be super creasy and it hasn't been. It just is perhaps a little bit drying for what I like in a concealer. Um, but again, it's one that really gets the job done and it's a new concealer from Maybelline. So of course I had to try it. I think the Fit Me is still my favorite though. And that's concealer and foundation done, so I'm going to be moving on to powder. I've been using the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear, um, Youthful Wear Youth Boosting Powder in the Illuminating Finish. I bought this because Jessica Braun was waving, raving about it, saying it's like an hourglass powder. It's nothing like an hourglass powder, let me tell you that. Plus, the shade of this, it's too dark. It's just way too dark, and that's why I find that if I don't get it on very evenly, it just looks a bit patchy and you know for the spring summertime I don't really mind it that much because when I apply my bronzer and all that it still looks fine it's just that I mean in terms of shade it's just it's just hideous on me I have to apply this super lightly just to not make myself look like an umpa loompa and I mean in terms of powder it's getting the job done but it's just that I would much rather have a translucent powder that I can just slap on and not have to worry about and that's not this one. So this one, I think I will be not shopping me st uh, my stash for again uh, for the next month. I usually also try to use up my powders. This one is not going to make it. Uh, still on the Essence Brow Pomade Super Last Eyebrow Pencil. Uh, still have a lot of product left, so I don't think I'll be using this one up anytime soon, which is super frustrating because I have other brow products that I would like to try. It's just with brow products, I really like to use them up before I use anything else um, because I think this, this is also one of those products that is a bit waxy so that if you just chuck it aside and don't use it for a few months, it's probably going to dry out. So if I want to get the use out of it, I, I just need to use it up. So, And my brows are in such a such a state and that's because I haven't been able, like I was going to get them threaded and then everything shut down. <laughs> and so that was um, lovely. With, in terms of like growing back, they are just not looking the best. So I do apologize if my brows look a little funky. 
It's just something I have to deal with as well. <laughs> and I don't mind brows looking funky. It's just that, yeah. I was gonna go, like, literally, I had it planned for the week after everything shut down. Like, I was like, okay, next week I'm gonna go get my brows done. Nope. Um, bronzer that I'm using is the number seven bronzer in golden sand. I, again, a lot of people were using, I think, ma maple something that's one shade up. This was the lighter shade and it looked super nice and pale and yellow tone. And I was like, ooh, I want to try that. And this is a bronzer that when I did my bronzer declutter, I was like, oh, I've had that for a year and I haven't used it yet. So I decided to put it in this shop, my stash, and I'm really liking it. Uh, this has been my everyday bronzer. I threw in the Becca bronzer just to have something on, on hand if this didn't work out. But man, I've been really, really liking this. It's a really natural bronzer, perhaps a bit too natural for the time period we're going into. So for the springtime, this was nice. But for summer, I probably want something with a slightly different shade. But this is so nice for this like transitional like season, you could say. So um, yeah, this is just, it just gives enough color, nothing too crazy. It blends super easily and it's a yellow tone bronzer. And I love yellow tone bronzers on myself much more than the more reddish or pink toned ones. This just works a lot better. I don't know why, it's a bit more neutral perhaps. And then for highlighter, actually the past week or so, I have not been reaching for this all that much. I've been reaching much more for my The Bombs Mary Luminizer again because that's more golden toned and I feel that with the nice weather, I just wanna wear something golden toned in my complexion even though it perhaps is a bit too yellow for right now. Oh well. But for the first half of the month, I think for the good like three weeks or so, I was reaching for this and I really had to like force myself away from the Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz. I already reviewed this one uh, and this is starting to look a bit messy. This is, this is a product, I'm just going to twist it up just for fun because this is all you get for $22, just saying. So that's the main gripe I have with this product is that you don't get a lot of product. However, I've twisted it all the way down. I can't twist it down any further. I've been using this for three weeks straight and I haven't even worn the top down enough that you like need to twist it up again. So in terms of like how much you use in one go, it's really not a lot. So I do think that in terms of how much you get versus how much you use, it may still be worth it in the end. I was just super surprised when I first twisted this all the way up. I was like, it's like this, this big of a nub. Oh well. What I tend to do with this is that I take my fingers and that I sort of rub the stick onto my fingers first, just to, you know, use the oils and the warmth of your fingers to sort of get some product on there. And then, what I do is that I press my fingers together, like so, and then I press that down onto the high points on my cheeks and I sort of dab it in, like you would an eye cream almost, but then lower down. <laughs> um, and I feel that that just really adds a little bit of shine. It's super subtle, so again, well, in the wintertime, I actually like really sparkly highlighters, but if you wanna go for that no makeup makeup look that Glossier is known for, I think this is, one of, this is one of my favorite products I've tried so far. I really like the stretch concealer too, but this is super nice too. Um, the Blush Light Highlighter by Essence. I was using the Cassis Sunburst, which is the purpley one a lot this month. I've only been verging on, uh, or changing it up for this peachy shade called Peachy Dream. Um, like later on and this is a like really light peachy shade and then it has like a glowy sort of lighter powder and you guys these are so good these are amazing these are again some of the best blushes that I think Essence has done in a long time so if you can get these I think there are four shades I'm actually contemplating picking up the other two as well because I love these so much um, it's sort of like that duo, like duo ombre blush kind of situation. This one is very, very subtle though. So this is again, really perfectly if you wanna go for that no make, like see, it adds a bit of sheen to the cheeks, a little like a hint of color. I mean, I have my Milani Luminoso, bron uh, Luminoso blush in my Shop My Stash last month and thought it was too intense because it was a bit too orange for right now. I'm still a bit too pale. This, I love it. 
I love it, love it. These little essence blushes are super duper nice. Still in my shop, my stash, my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and also this The Body Shop little eyeshadow that I always use. So uh, this is again, like this Paint Pot is like, there's a dent in there, you guys. You don't really see this on camera, but there's a, there's a good dent. Um, still liking this. In fact, I, I've decided that maybe this week, because I need to still do some like eye looks as well for reviews. So I actually want to try and see if I can make a paint pot work for me without setting it because I know a lot of people go like, ooh, over a tacky base. And I'm like, makes me a bit nervous because I'm afraid I won't be able to blend things out. And I've had experience in the past with paint pots creasing on me terribly if I don't set them. Um, so, but I do want to try this whole like not setting my paint pot kind of thing. I use it as a tacky base and get more pigment out of some shadows, perhaps. Um, today I am going to be setting my eyeshadow because the shadows I'm going to be working with, at least based on the other shadows from the palette, uh, I have really high expectations that these will just go on super duper vibrantly and all that jazz. Um, so eyes are primed. Let's move on to the palette. I've been testing out this one. This is the LA Girl Hot Hot Heat palette. And this is, does this have a shade? I think they're all like called something differently, but this, it's massive. It's the size of my head. And this retails for like 17 euros. It's like really, really affordable. And what I liked about this palette and why it really appealed to me so much when I, when I looked into these was that it has colors here and then it's got neutrals here. You get cool tones, you get warm tones you get teals, you get an aqua shade, you get pinks and purples. So I really thought that this looked really nice and a good like all rounder kind of palette. It has quite a few shimmers, I have to say, um, but I've been really liking it. I've done two looks with this so far, in case you were wondering what was on my eyes in the Essence lipstick video that I did last Sunday, that was done with this. So that yellow was gold was like all over my lid. I've already done a look with these like tealy shades and also this one, but I still need to do a look with this and this. So that's what I wanna do today. So I think I'm gonna go like super bright and funky on my top lid, and then I'm going to go very neutral on my bottom lid. I think I'm going to do it like that. Um, this palette does have like a really good crease shade, something to blend it out, a white matte, and you get a darker brown matte and you get a really dark like black shade too so it's got the five mattes that you kind of need to build a look and then it's got all the fun shimmers which i like by the way massive mirror massive mirror i could have done my makeup in that mirror it just it doesn't really like stand up very well on its own so if you're holding it it kind of flops around a bit but I'm just going to do an eye look with this and then I'm going to tell you afterwards what I did. So I'll zoom you in for that part. All right, so I'm going to talk you through what I did with this eye look. I think it's really nice. It's bright and colorful, but not too in your face. And that's because on me, most of my lid shade usually disappears because I have really deep set eyes. So if I look at you straight ahead, you barely see any of that color, but then I look down, boom, you get the purple. So what I've done is that I first started to look off with this matte shade in the crease. So that's what's all the way up here. And I blended it out with that cream matte shade. That's what I've done in terms of like mattes, you could say. And then I put the these two purples, like the darkest one is on the outer V. And then this lighter one is in the inner part of my eye. I use that pink shade in the inner corner. That's what you see here. And then I use this shade because as I was using it with the 
with the teals, uh, the first time I used it, I felt that it didn't pull very blue, it pulled more pinky purple. So I used that a little bit on the center of the lid. So that's that blue reflect that you get there. And then I just put that taupe all along the lower lash line and I lined my eyes a little bit with the black so that the purple wasn't too like stark um, in the entire look. So I think this is a good example of a very sort of like look that has color and neutrals all in one go. I think this looks pretty, actually, I think I'm very happy with how it came out. It's time for a bit of mascara. I'll keep you zoomed in for a minute. And I've been using this combo. Um, I still have this lying about. I really felt, as I had predicted, that my Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift was really starting to become a bit dry, started to look very clumpy. I had to like really get some clumps out of my lashes and it just wasn't performing the way I remembered it doing like in March. So that's why I pulled this one in. This is the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara, mega volume, waterproof, and I hate this. I'm not liking this one at all. Um, the wand seems to have very little product on it and I feel that for a waterproof mascara, I feel it just kind of clumps things together. It's just making my uh, mascara more difficult to take off. But in terms of like wear time and making it look pretty, I really don't see any sort of difference. And in terms of volume, like I usually do one coat of a very volumizing mascara and then I layer the Catrice Glamandol waterproof mascara on top to make sure my lashes are more separated and they look more lengthened. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not a volumizing mascara. This hardly does anything. And that's the issue that I have with a lot of like vo like waterproof mascaras actually. They usually don't volumize like a regular one would, I find. So that's why I sort of like have that combo. But yeah, this was one I still had lying around and I had never tried it. So I was like, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. But this is probably one where I'm not gonna soldier on with it for too long. I might keep it around for like May, just because. <laughs> I don't, I hate wasting products just because I don't like them if they are fairly okay and I can make them work. I'd rather make them work. And now I have a little smudgy thing going on here. Oh no. I always, see, this is why I, oh, no, don't like it. Uh, and then I have my trusty Catrice mascara that I still layer on top because I feel that the other one, all it just does is clump my lashes together at the base and then it barely gets any product in the lengths. And I've got fairly long lashes naturally, so, and that are also curly, so um, that's why you never see me use eye lash curlers and things like that. I usually don't need them, but this one I just feel does not get the most out of my lashes at all. Alright, so I only have two more things left and that's lipstick and setting spray. I usually do setting spray before I do mascara, um, so I'm going to have to wait a minute until that dries down before I can use this. So I'll move on to lipstick first. This is the Too Faced Sex on the Peach mini lipstick. I bought a Sephora lip kit um, when I was in New York. I didn't show you that in a haul because it was like, by the time you see this and if you're not in Sephora, you can't get these mini products. So it didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, but this was in that kit and it's a really pretty, like cool tone nude. And I was wearing it a lot with the ColourPop monochromatic palettes when I was doing that those reviews. I think for nine out of the 10 looks, this is the lipstick I was wearing. And this is just, a really nice nude lipstick and I actually, because it's a mini, I think I can use this up this year. So uh, I'm definitely going to keep this in my shop, my stash, A, to use it up, but also because I know I will be playing around with lots more colorful eye makeup because I'm still like this palette, like I bought this for Black Friday and I'm only getting around to it right now but I still have quite a few like more like colorful looks to do. And then I just like having a good nude on hand that I just know I can throw on and it will go with everything. And that's what this is. So there you have it. I think it really works really well on me. Uh, and then I have the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. I still have like the teeniest, tiniest amount of product left in my Makeup Revolution um green tea fixing spray that i love but i'm planning on doing a full face of makeup revolution in may 
and I did order a new one, but since this has been opened, I actually first want to get the use out of this one. So I was like, if I keep a little bit in the old one, then I can use it up during that video. I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but that was my reasoning. So that's why I've decided for as of today to switch to the e.l.f. dewy setting mist. And I tried this out for my full face of e.l.f. and I only use it like once or twice. So I don't really have too many thoughts about this yet. I quite liked it. I liked it enough to keep it around and not declutter it straight away. So maybe I can use this up first. We'll see how this one goes. Maybe I like it enough to keep it around for my Shop My Stash. I will be using this for like the next week or so um, because my Shop My Stash will be going live next Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That's the makeup look all done. Um, very neutral, very sort of light, but a bit of color. This is sort of like me at my best, I feel. Like if this had a red lip, it would have been even better. <laughs> or like a bright pink. I think that would have been fun for this video as well. But yeah, I wanna film some other videos right after this one. So that's why um, I didn't do that for this video. Plus I've been pretty much only reaching for this and one other lipstick as you will see in my shop, my stash. So that's why this had to be featured in this get ready with me. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week. And especially in these trying times, I'm just coming with you to you with these lighthearted videos about makeup because that's what I enjoy. And I think that's why you're also watching my channel because you just need a distraction. And I hope you are doing well in the meantime, that you stay safe, that you stay healthy, that you take care of yourself and your loved ones. And then I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.